Welcome back. In this lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to configure the custom DNS on our VNet AZ2 virtual network. We're going to do this because at a later point in the course, we're going to deploy a couple VMs on the VNet AZ2 network, and we're going to join them to our on-prem Active Directory. To do that, they need to be able to resolve our on-prem Active Directory domain name and resources. So to make that happen, what we do is we configure custom DNS on the virtual network we're going to deploy our VMs to. So when they come up, they get that custom DNS that points them at our on-prem AD. So before we do anything, what we're going to do is click on our DC01 here, which I currently have stopped because I'm not using it. And we're going to look at the private IP address. So the private IP is 10.0.1.4. That's going to be the DNS server we configure our AZV2 virtual network with because this is the domain controller for our on-prem active directory and it also serves as DNS for the AD. So let's bounce back out to our dashboard and let's click on our VNet AZ2 virtual network. Now from here, what we can do is select DNS servers. And we can see by default that the DNS that all virtual networks use is Azure provided. Now, because Azure doesn't know what our internal Active Directory is, we need to change this DNS, set it to custom, and then tell anything on this virtual network to point at the on-prem Active Directory DNS server. So we simply click custom and then add our DNS server here. And you can add as many as you want here. We only have one, so we're only adding the one DNS server, which is our domain controller. And we'll click save. Now keep in mind, we needed to set up that VPN first before using this custom DNS. Otherwise, machines that are deployed in this VNet AZ2 network wouldn't be able to even get back to the on-prem Active Directory domain controller. So that's why we needed to set that VPN up first. So now that we have the connectivity and now that we have the custom DNS configured, what we'll do is later on when we provision those VMs, they'll automatically be able to see our on-prem Active Directory and join the domain as usual. So with that said, adding a custom DNS server to a virtual network is really not all that complex. It took us all of 30 seconds. So following in line with DNS configuration, what we're going to do in the next lesson is hop into the process of creating a public DNS zone. Now I know that has nothing to do with the networking that we've been working with here, but it all falls within DNS. So I'm trying to clump together related topics throughout this course so you're not all over the place. So let's call it a wrap here and I'll see you over in the next lesson.